I guess we have everything ready to go. It all looks in order. Hello everyone, this is James Nussbaumer of jamesnussbaumer.com. I am the author of this book, The Master of Everything, a story of mankind and the world of illusion we call life. I call it a manifesto to a better life. Uh, everyone, I want to talk about today, what is the number one way to achieve our goals in life? How do you conquer fear? Is that getting in the way? It does for most of us. It seems that each generation looks back to previous generations to learn from their mistakes as well as their successes in order to improve their progress into the future. Well, these passed along lessons serve in all generations that follow as the rationale for making a better world, except that we're unaware of what we see. What do I mean by that? Well, we've all heard it said before that the problem with history is that it just keeps on repeating itself on and on, over and over, doesn't it? Or should we say that we keep repeating ourselves and are afraid of true change? This is the reason we don't understand what we see, which leads to getting upset and fearing things that really aren't there at all. Are you a believer in the old adage that goes like this? Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. That phrase undoubtedly was coined by someone who had trouble seeing the big picture. You see, the world was built by people who crossed bridges in their minds long before anyone else did. The only way to your true free will is by breaking new ground or moving into uncharted territory and, you know, continuing to look beyond your fears, beyond the immediate, and start seeing the big picture, the real big picture that you really want. Otherwise, you're just going to remain imprisoned from new opportunities coming your way. Are you imprisoning your own true free will by slaving away every day to help someone else achieve their own free will? Keep in mind that your true free will is not only about your chosen career path, though. It is about anything at all that you participate in every day. In other words, it's about how you live your life. Consider these quotes about living your true free will. Lawrence J. Peter once said, If you don't know where you're going, you will probably end up somewhere else. When our, when our inner self tries to argue against the flattery of others, our ego-based thoughts always seem to remind us of the bills to pay, the deadlines, commitments, and the pressures of keeping up with the next door neighbor or with the Joneses, so to speak. The world convinced us of the rules that dictate things like this. We do what we must to get ahead. And then we take some well-earned time off go on vacation to reward ourselves with whatever it is we really love to do. But the problem with that is the whole time we're on vacation, in the back of our mind is, oh my gosh, i got to get back to that ball and chain next week. Sound familiar? One half of knowing what you really want is knowing what you must give up before you get it. That's what Sidney Howard said. The number one way out of the trap of not being where you truly want to be is by not trying to be a perfectionist where the desire is always to have the perfect situation which is really impossible in this world rather than that have standards of excellence and I use the word excellence with a capital E to represent your in your individual divinity the wholeness that you are that are that is extremely high and tapping into that inner divine self that is within you where there's room for air simply because forgiveness comes easy well what do I mean by that your divinity your inner real self is always forgiving your heirs because it is always looking beyond what causes us to make errors in our thinking Here's an exercise I'd like you to consider using. Imagine life is a game in which you are juggling some five balls in the air. Okay, you name them business or career, family, health, friends, and your spirit. Notice you will drop some of them. You'll drop some of them balls quite often. If life is a rubber ball, it will bounce back for you to catch it. 
Understanding this point will add balance to your life. That's why the truly successful know why they will always bounce back. They are the ones who are truly abundant. And you can be the same. Hey everyone, I hope you'll check out my book, The Master of Everything. Uh, on sale everywhere books are sold. Uh, Amazon has it as a four and a half star rating, which I'm thrilled with. The sequel, the next book, which I haven't announced the title to that yet, uh, is on its way out by the first of the year. But in the, um, you check around on this uh, video section here, there will be some links in the description boxes that, that you can click on that will take you to uh, some presentations that I've got and some videos that you can take a look at. Um, don't be shy. Feel free to look at them. Nobody's going to uh, pressure you with any kind of spam or sales tactics. It's uh, serious stuff about leading you to an abundant life. I hope the best for you, and I hope you continue going after your true free will without fear and just doing what it is you really want to do in life. Thanks for listening to me tonight.